Tyler Probably Betty. a good bet. He is on track Fantastic also to win the Carhartt Chopping Championship Three, for Flight two, B in round one, one of the go. Steel Timber Sports Series. We're working to get to round two, which will take place down in Decatur, Alabama. In the standing, Jason didn't look like he was fully focused, and uh, it showed off when Brad beat him. I don't think we're going to see that here. Very determined, and he's no, done already. Boy, that was good and fast for Jason Winyard, the easy winner in the underhand chop. Yeah, take a look at that time. 14.73, no two, one, go. Melvin Lentz has been unbeatable in the single saw for many years, or he had been before injuries that took all the power out of his legs, but his technique is still very, very good. Oh, a little hang up for Mel. Brad is a newcomer to the single. Wow, Whoa. I think Bradley got in by a quarter of a second, if that much. Melvin Lentz had a beautiful cut going through the top of this log, and then he had this bobble, which put him off his balance a little bit. He got right back into it quickly, but the difference at the end with Brad DeLosa cutting completely, a very close time. Well, Brad DeLosa with the win there, official time 15.82. Mel Lentz right behind him, 15.95. Well, the rain has slacked up, at least for the moment, as we get ready for the final heat of this single buck competition. David Moses from Snoqualmie, Washington, in the foreground. The big man, Jason Winyard, reigning champion of the Steel Timber Sports Series behind him. And world record holder at 9.63. We'll see how close he gets to that here. Look at the two different techniques. Jason's big, long, flat stroke. And look at that time, unofficially 11.3, a little ways off his record. But that'll definitely be a winner as we wait for David to get his. Had a little bit of a hang up down at the bottom for David Moses. Officially for Jason Winyard. Since Freddy. Three, two, one, go. Every event is so important, they cannot have any mistakes. Of course, working our way toward our season-ending championship in Stillwater, Minnesota. These guys have two hard contests to go through before they get there. You see the spikes on the shoes of Carson Bosworth, making sure he has good footing up on this wooden stage. He's going to be taking it. Right. Oh, Slingerland. Slingerland gets him. Unofficially the best time so far, 20.23. Second and a half faster than Harry Burnsworth. Well, year in and year out. Mike Sullivan, definitely one of the favorites out here on the series. Been here pretty much since the beginning. Works in the hunting industry, former catcher for the Cincinnati Reds. And he works hard to make sure all the moving parts keep working. I always train. I still continue to go to the gym, but I just basically try to keep my body in shape. What we do is we do high-intensity workout. We just go right down the line, one machine right after another, nonstop. The reason it works well, I think, for me is the sport is an explosive sport, and that's what we're doing here. We need to be good and strong for 20 seconds, and I think this type of workout really does that. about Dion and his progress in this event throughout the, the seven years he's been working with us now? Well, it's amazing because he started off with a Rotex saw also like all the other guys had, but he went to an engine builder up in New York and built something brand new from scratch, and now they're building quite a few of them. Bradley DeLosa also has one. Timer's ready. Contestant's ready. Get Brooke at first cut, he corrected that and got three complete discs. Once he puts the saw on the ground, he looks around. Yeah, I didn't cut too much wood, thumbs up, he's good. But his opponent, Dion Lane, he had it all going together after that first disc, and he comes out with a pretty good time. A great time, 6.44 in the lead for Dion Lane. J.P. Mears, 0.52, and Mike Sullivan needs to cut out, somehow become DQ'd, and J.P. Mercier will have a shot at tying Mike Sullivan. All right, it's the last heat of the day, and the situation is pretty simple. Right now, J.P. Mercier is the man in second place with a 6.52. Mike Sullivan is the man in fourth place overall, and he, as it stands right now, is the man who's going to advance on, the fourth man to advance on to our next round of competition. What J.P. Mercier hopes for is a Mike Sullivan DQ. Some way or another, that way he would tie it.